having a Republican representation on the county commissioners. And I was talking to Girk and it sounds like 04 was like the last year that they have actually had a Republican commissioner. So what would it mean to represent the, not only all of the constituents, but specifically the Republicans that we know exist in our county, but haven't had representation for a while? What would it mean to me? Yes. Oh, it would mean everything. I feel like everybody in Lucas County should have representation. Uh, unfortunately, that isn't always the case. Um, I've been going around Lucas County now for a good part of a year. And one of the major things that people tell me is that they just feel disconnected from county government. Um, not, not all of them are Republicans. Um, some of them are Democrats as well. So one of the main reasons why I'm running is to try to fill that gap and try to reconnect uh, people to their county government and make sure everybody has representation. And what do you think that you could bring to this seat that doesn't exist right now with the current commissioner? Well, just that really, uh, true representation, sitting down and actually listening to people, finding out what their needs are and doing whatever I can to support them and make sure that their tax money is being spent on things that they care about. I talked to you back when you were running for a different office, um, but you are now running for commissioner. So, you know, what do you believe qualifies you to be a, a good representative for our county? Well, I'm very passionate about public service, and I think right now what people need and what they want is public servants, not politicians. I think they're pretty much tired of politicians at this point. So for the past 15 years, I've been in public service. I work for an amazing company who help people who are homeless and have mental health issues. Um, to this day, I've gotten over 2,000 people off the streets and into permanent housing. And that's something that I'm really passionate about, something I'm really proud of. And you know, public service is just something that gives me purpose, and I want to be able to take that to the county level. And I think housing is one of those things that we talk about a lot in Lucas County. You know, LMHA is in the news relatively often. Um, there's questions about affordable housing. Is that something that you would want to tackle as a commissioner? Well, right now there's a lot of um, housing being built. Um, there's a lot more loose ends around Lucas County that need to be tied up whether it be you know, Lake Erie and the algae blooms, our roads, uh, the fairgrounds. Um, there's just so many things that are left undone right now that need attention. And it's, it's really just predates the COVID era as well. There were things that needed to be done you know, well before COVID. So just tackling all the issues, you can't just really point out one thing and housing is important but I think there's a, just a lot of different things that we need to tackle all at once. Absolutely, so that leads into my next question. What would be kind of your main platform issues running for commissioner, your main platform issues? I know we talked a little bit off camera about the jail. Um, so what, what would be kind of the first big things that you would want to tackle? Right, well, a major thing is the jail. I know that sounds like old news, but it's still uh, very important. And, Running for commissioner, I need to make sure that everybody in the suburbs know that I intend on keeping the jail downtown for them not to worry, because I know that is a concern of people in the suburbs that it would be moved out there. But it's deteriorating, and I've spoken to people in the sheriff's department. They want a new jail. Um, I, I'm not so sure that that needs to be done, but that's something that we need to consider. Um, obviously, there's other, other buildings as well, like canine control, that needs some uh, issues as well, or that needs some tending to as well. People have been talking about that a lot lately, you know, that they need a new building and that theirs is deteriorating. So really it's a lot of infrastructure, a lot of streets that are badly, you know, are in bad shape. It's just really unfortunate to have that many things that are wrong. So for me to just pick one or two, really it's, it's a collective, uh, and it's gonna take a collective effort with all three commissioners and with the community. We need to get the community involved. We need to sit down and talk with them and get their ideas as well. Uh, they've been left out for way too long, and I'd like to, you know, bring them back to the to the fold. So it sounds like infrastructure in general, streets, for sure. buildings, making sure things are running properly. That's kind of yeah. Things are getting old. And um, so you talked about the jail downtown. Um, what else, if you could add anything? What do you think that you would bring to the commissioners that doesn't currently exist beyond 
you know, a difference in political things. You mentioned your your background, um, but I think we've seen these same commissioners for, for a while now. So what do you see as the benefit of a, of a new commissioner? I, you know, I really don't think that the county commissioner position is something that should be partisan. You know, Lucas County Commissioners, if you're a Republican, you don't represent just Republicans. And if you're a Democrat, you don't represent Democrats. But unfortunately, my, my opponent is very partisan, and he does use it as a political tool. And I noticed that, like, when the president came to town, um, and the things that he was saying, you know, before the president even showed up. So I think that that's a huge difference with me. I'm more focused on public service. I'm more focused on serving the entirety of, of the county, not just, you know, this aspect or that or aspect of a Republican or Democrat. I think that's it's misleading and I don't think we should do that, honestly. I, I, I don't even like there being a partisan R or D in front of our names when you go to vote because we're not just serving Republicans or Democrats. We're supposed to be serving everybody in Lucas County, including the people in the suburbs who really feel like they haven't been included for years. And that, that's really unfortunate. So final question for me. Okay. Uh, one, some, one thing we've been asking both of you guys is, you know, if you had a question for the other candidates, what would your main question be for them? Why hasn't he spoken out against the things, the horrible things that his daughter has said about Officer Anthony Dia? about the horrible things that his daughter has said at the Trump rally. He doesn't have to agree with her. I understand that. But I feel like he has a moral duty to speak out against that and to say that she was wrong. And if he hasn't done that, then all we can assume is that he agrees with her. And that's very poor leadership to me. And I just want to know why he hasn't spoken out about that. And I think it's very disturbing. Um, is there anything else you want to add? Anything you think that we missed? Um, no, I'm really excited. I'm looking forward to being the next Lucas County Commissioner.